one of my loyal Patreon supporters asked me a question. He wanted to know how do I make all these decals? He saw these products that I'm modeling on my Instagram page. I post them almost every day. How do I make these decals, all this writing, all these custom labels and all this shit that I put around my products? That are around the models that I make, like this writing, this text in the back, all this other stuff. He wanted an Aria and how do you do this? So I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's very, very, very simple. It's one of the simplest tricks. It's like an 800 IQ trick. Nobody uses this for some reason, but it's so easy to add details to fucking anything with this. Okay, so pay attention. Here's the basic idea of what's happening. We have an object, a 3D model. We create a material for that 3D model. And in that material, we create an image texture, okay? Whether you download a custom camouflage texture or something, it doesn't matter because you can take any texture as long as it's an image and you can just paint over it the same way that you open up Microsoft Paint and you paint over an image, all right? But the trick is inside Blender, you can use stencils, all right? So you ever seen those graffiti guys? He'll take like a little cardboard shape or something which has a smiley cut out and then he spray paints over it and when he removes the stencil, only the smiley got painted and nothing else, right? That's basically what we're going to do in Blender. So here's how you do this, all right? Let's create a default cube just as a simple example, all right? This default cube, we're gonna go to shading. We need a new material. Let's focus on this. We need a new material. Don't bother with the color or anything. That's all gonna be part of the image. You're gonna create a new node, which is called an image texture node. Click on that and click on new to generate a new image, all right? Now you want to ch type in your resolution 1024, 2048, 512, whatever you want to select. And we're gonna name this texture paint example, whatever, right? Texture paint example. You need to make sure that the generated type is set to blank because you only want a blank image. You don't want any of this color grid shit, any of this UV grid bullshit, okay? You just want your texture, you want your image, which you can paint over, all right? If you're loading an image as a texture that you downloaded from texture.com, you don't have to generate a new image. You just open up this image. You don't have to generate nothing. But I want a basic blue flat image. Maybe I'll make it dark, maybe like brown, like a shit brown or something. We're gonna create that image. I want to paint over this. So now when I plug this color into the base color of the material, this image that we generated is now mapped is now applied to the cube. So this is now the color of the cube, right? If it was a camouflage texture that I downloaded, it would be camouflage applied to the cube. And this, the way this is applied is dictated by the UV map, all right? If you don't know how to UV unwrap and how to UV map stuff, check out my tutorial, type in, I, I'm not gonna put in the link because I'm gonna forget. Type in Aryan how to UV unwrap in Blender, something like this, it's gonna come up, all right? And you're gonna have to UV unwrap your model. This is a default cube, so it's already UV unwrapped, so you don't have to do anything for this, okay? Currently, it's you can see the UV map displayed over this focus right texture in the background, but I want to apply this to my cube texture, or my example, where is it? My shit brown color, texture paint example right here. So this is the brown image that we just generated. It's just brown, nothing else to it. And we can now paint over this image. If you switch to texture paint, when you switch to texture painting workspace, you have your beautiful little UV map here and you can use your white default brush to paint whatever you want over this object, right? So you can paint something here. You can paint something, it's going to appear on the cube. You can also paint in your 3D view like this, right? Now the trick here is you can replace your brush with stuff and you can also load in a stencil. So here's how you make a stencil. Let's undo this. You're gonna open up some image editing program, whether you use Photoshop, I use PaintNet, it doesn't matter, as long as it's a program which can run transparency. I highly recommend PaintNet because it's fucking cheap, it's easy to use, all right? Just get PaintNet, and you're gonna open up a new canvas, you're gonna delete everything, Control A, delete, all right? So now you just have a transparent background. And now that you have a transparent background, you can type in anything that you want, you can create any logo, you can put in any sticker, anything you want. I'll take my text, I'll take a big, a big font size and I'll type in, give me like 96. You can write whatever. I'm gonna type in slavery, okay? You can type in that and you can also add custom shapes. So maybe we wanna add a fucking smiley. I'm gonna add a circle like this. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a smile. Okay, and give me some eyes. All right, he looks a bit retarded, but that's fine. And now we have this stencil and we can use this to paint. We can just copy paste this transparent texture onto our object, right? 
None of the background, the background is still gonna be blue. We're just gonna have this as a sticker on top of our texture, right? You can also go to Google and type in something like duck.png or duck.png. It's gonna give you a picture of a duck with a transparent background. And you can load that image into this, you can save that image and now you have a sticker of a duck which you can also uh, texture paint the same way we're gonna do with this. Anyway, we're gonna save this as a stencil, save, you know, replace, whatever. I'm going back to Blender and in Blender, I now need to load this stencil so I can use it for texture painting, okay? So to do that, I'm going to find this little texture properties tab down here. It's under the materials. I'm gonna click on new and I'm gonna open up pictures stencil, okay? Now I opened up my slavery smiley stencil right here. Currently, it's a little bit stretched out. It's a little bit compressed, so we need to fix that. Usually, you can fix that by clicking image aspect. And by default, this is probably going to be something like a view plane, so it's going to texture paint like this. But you have to switch this mapping to stencil, and you have to select your object. You have to select your image right here, all right? Once you do that, you click image aspect. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Make sure that your size is 1, 1, 1. You don't have any rotation or anything like that. Sometimes your image aspect doesn't want to work correctly. So sometimes when you correct the image aspect, if it's stretched out, it's not gonna correct it. I don't know why. Maybe you just have to restart Blender. You just have to click it like eight times over and over again. But usually this is gonna do the trick. And you want to come down here and make sure that you don't have anything loaded in your texture mask, okay? Your texture, your stencil is supposed to be loaded in the texture tab. You open this menu with N, by the way, in your texture painting workspace. Make sure you don't have shit loaded in here, okay? And make sure that this is on view plane and not stencil also. So, and now you have this picture floating around in your 3D view. You can click and drag it with your right click. You can place it somewhere over the cube. You can paint over it real quick. And now you put your slavery text and your smiley onto your cube, all right? You can also do it over here. If you wanna be more precise, you can just paint over it. Anything that you have like this, it's gonna, even if it's a yellow smiley, you can just paint over it, all right? You can put anything onto your objects like this. This is the same way that I've, I've put these texts over here. I just wrote some stuff in different colors. I use different color text. Then maybe I draw this. I'll draw this logo and paint that with some basic shapes, right? Maybe I'll come here, I'll take a green line. And then I'll do, do another line that goes out like this. And then I'll do another line that goes out like this. Okay. And then maybe I want a little shape. So I'll take a bigger brush. I want a circle here, a circle here, a circle here, a circle here. That's how I did this little thing, right? You can do arrows and stuff. You can texture paint anything that you can possibly think of. You can probably just take a picture of yourself or take a picture of your feet, load it into paint, save it, and you can use this as a stencil. Just paint it over your texture. Any image in the world, you can use it as a stencil so you can use it to texture paint over stuff, all right? If you have any more questions, put them in the comments below, all right? And let me know what you want to see next. I'll see you guys in the next one.